Danke für den herzlichen Empfang, lieber Staatspräsident. Ich freue mich sehr, heute hier in Kenia zu sein. Erst vor wenigen Wochen haben wir uns in Berlin getroffen und darüber gesprochen, wie wir unsere Beziehung weiterentwickeln können. Und das ist nun mein erster offizieller Besuch in Kenia und das in einem sehr besonderen Jahr. Kenia feiert 60 Jahre Unabhängigkeit und die Bundesrepublik Deutschland war das erste Land, das 1963 die Republik Kenia offiziell anerkannt hat. Daher feiern wir in diesem Jahr auch 60 Jahre diplomatische Beziehungen, 60 Jahre diplomatische Beziehungen, die eine gute freundschaftliche Zusammenarbeit geprägt haben und die auch die Basis sind für das, was wir uns für die Zukunft vorgenommen haben. In den sechs Jahrzehnten haben wir das bilaterale Verhältnis weiterentwickelt, haben in multilateralen Foren zusammengearbeitet, aber vor allem auch die Freundschaft zwischen unseren beiden Völkern und Gesellschaften vorangebracht und dafür Sorge getragen, dass unsere Beziehungen wirklich partnerschaftlich sind. Deshalb ist es auch richtig, dass wir jetzt unserer Partnerschaft einen mehr strategischen Rahmen geben wollen. Unsere Unternehmen sind das zeigt die this is also reflected in my business delegation that is accompanying me on this visit. I am also delighted about the close cooperation in economic issues that is reflected in many topics we have discussed today that you mentioned, but that are also linked to the willingness your willingness to work with us in the framework of the Compact with Africa, because it is an important topic for us. It facilitates trade, it facilitates investment by companies. And we also are talking about the question of protecting our environment and fighting man-made climate change. We are united in our ambitions, and I would like to explicitly say that Kenya truly has made substantial progress, is a true leader uh, compared to many other countries in the world. So I am absolutely delighted about your willingness to become a member of the International Climate Club. This is an important step, because if we are to reach our ambitious goals to stop climate change, it will only succeed if we work together and make sure simultaneously that we are doing this together and that our different pathways that we have will uh, be in context, will be related and will lead to the same goal. Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue im März, die in March, in you participated in the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue in Berlin. You have highlighted once again the important role of Kenya in the fight against climate change. Thank you very much for that. These are really topics that unite us, and it's not a coincidence that I will be visiting the geothermal power plant in Naivasha. As I was told, it's the biggest of its kind in Africa, and this illustrates once more that Kenya is a truly inspiring climate champion. More than 90 percent of Kenya's electricity already comes from renewable energy sources, and by 2030 you are to reach 100 percent. This is truly impressive, and it is also one reason why Kenya has such appeal both in Africa and beyond. Last year, we have agreed to establish a climate and development partnership in which we step up our cooperation in the areas of renewable energies, hydrogen and drought resilience in agriculture. We will also make additional funds available for that purpose. I am impressed by Kenya's preparations for hosting the Africa Climate Action Summit, the summit you will be hosting, and Germany will be supporting Kenya with our technical means and also financially. The conference highlights Kenya's leading role in climate action, and it is also an event that will lead the way up to COP28, a truly remarkable and important event. There is also potential for enhanced cooperation in the field of labor migration. Germany wants to offer more legal pathways for migration for those who wish to work in Germany, and at the same time, we aim to reduce illegal migration. This is a win-win situation for all countries involved. We see a great potential for orderly skilled labor migration from Kenya in many fields of our economy. Kenya is a solid democracy. 
This is why your country is a stabilizing actor in a truly troubled region. We very much appreciate what Kenya has achieved in terms of mediation efforts in the last year and also in the current situation. It is continuing to show in many ways. Uh, in its region that it is committed. This is especially true with regard to the situation in Sudan that is, of course, very concerning to us and many others. Many Sudanese people have taken to the streets over the last years, risking their lives. They have stood up for democracy and freedom, for a transition moving from military structures to a civilian structure. So the army and the RSF must end their military struggle for power, which happens to the detriment to the people of the country, which leads to violence and destruction. There needs to be a transmission to a civilian government, and we are grateful for Kenya's commitment in this regard. Let me highlight it once more. We will do everything we can also to support the initiatives that have been taken. And also elsewhere, Kenya is committed, I said it before, in Somalia, uh, Ethiopia, uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. These are indispensable. Uh, efforts of support that we, we greatly appreciate and that we're happy to support. I am deeply convinced that initiatives for peace and stability in Africa, led by African states themselves, will only gain in importance. They are very uh, relevant. And just as Kenya, we, counts on, we count on developing a multilateral world in which nobody tries to shift borders, in which the rules of international order are accepted on the basis of the United Nations Charter and the international law. This is why it is very important for us and so significant that we raise our voices when international law is breached. And the Russian aggression against Ukraine is a breach of the international peace order and a threat to peace and freedom, not only in Europe but across the globe, because it means that borders might be shifted with the use of violence, but this would lead to a world that is more insecure. So we need to insist that things have to be done differently. We want to help strengthening our cooperation, move forward with global governance, and of course it is also important for us that African states are better represented and are given a stronger voice. Germany therefore supports the efforts for permanent African seats on the United Nations Security Council, and we also support a formal seat for the African Union within the G20. Thank you very much. Thank you for welcoming me with such warmth in Nairobi, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing you soon again.